I think there's no question that these numbers are a disappointment. Uh, they're showing uh, much greater weakness than people would like to see. Uh, but the good news is that the Federal Reserve has interest rates at very high levels, so they have a lot of room to cut rates if they need to. Uh, and they could do so uh, as early as uh, September. I think that these numbers all but guarantee a rate cut. The only big question is, is it going to be 25 or is it going to be 50 basis points? The Bureau of Labor Statistics told us that somehow this was not weather-related. But if you look at the statistics, it clearly was weather-related. If you look at the number of people that were not working because of weather or, or uh, other type of similar conditions, it was over uh, one and a half million. So we are seeing, in fact, that weather did play some sort of a role. Uh, so, yes, uh, it is a concern, but it's not a complete disaster. Mm. Uh, if you look at the SAM rule, that's the last thing I will point out, yeah. that looks at the three-month moving average of the unemployment rate to see if it's up at least a half a percentage point or more from its lowest reading, that goes up a half a percentage point. People say it signals a potential recession either in progress or about one to, about to begin. We went up to 0.53, uh, so that is telling you that there is a warning sign. But Fed Chairman Powell himself said mm -hmm. that that's just the statistical regularity. There's no guarantee. And Claudia Sam, who was a Federal Reserve economist at the New York Fed, is also backtracking and suggesting that it's not a guarantee that we'll get a recession.